Hey guys, and welcome back to Stranded Deep. Uh, so at the la end of the last episode, I seemed to get a bit lost. So I've done a bit of triangulation, and I figured out, like, if I went 340 north, and then went direct south, then I must be to the west of the island that I should be at. So I'm guessing that the island directly to my east, so either that one or that one over there is the island that I came from. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and check out that island. Actually, I'm going to check my my food first. Yeah, I'm actually fine. So that one's to the southeast, so it might be that one. So I'm going to check that one first. And if that's not it, I'll check the other one. And if neither of them are it, I'll come back here. But that one, that seems the most logical one. The one that's pretty close by, but to the east. Alright, so let's get going. I don't think I dropped anything here on this island, did I? No, it doesn't look like it. Nothing important anyway. So yeah, let's hope when this one pops in it's got three little islands on it. <laughs> Otherwise I'm going to start being worried. But that seems like the most logical explanation for uh, uh, trying to get back to the my island basically. Is that we would be off to the east of it. But if that's not the right island what I'll do is I shall yeah, I'll probably head off to that one on my left afterwards. Hmm. And then if that's not the right island. See, the thing is, by... If the graphics popped in properly, you would be able to tell that that was the right island from that other island that you're sitting on. So it's just like this graphical issue. This uh, optimization thing that they've done to try and make it so that the game's a bit easier to uh, to run on your machines. That's a big shark. Don't mess with me, shark. That's what happened last time I ended up having issues like going to the wrong frickin' island. God. Oh, we don't even get to the island that we frickin' set off for. That's the issue. <laughs> we set off for a bloody island that's a hundred and odd north, whatever it was. I've lost my notepad now. It was a hundred and something north. We set off for that and then we <laughs> ended up just trying to head back and going to a completely different island. There we go. It seems I found the right one. That's a big shark. Are you just another tiger shark? Because you look massive, son. What are you? What are you? Come to me, you fool. I'm chasing a shark. Hey, Jaws. Come here. What are you? Tell me, game. I'll fucking hatch at the thing. No idea. Game ain't tell me. Let's just get going. So it looks like we managed to, through some triangulation, we managed to find out where it was that we initially set our base up at. Jeez. What a freaking... What a laugh. <laughs> um, we've actually been to that. I think that was the very first... The island that we just came from, I think, was the very first island that we ever went to. I'm actually going to check my notepad. Real quick, I found it. Found a notepad. Oh, really? Yeah, that was the that's the West Island we've actually been there. That was the, literally the first island we went. To. Uh, was it? Yes, I think so. Whatever. What was night? Oh yeah, that was me telling myself. I was like, I've wrote down ninety east on my notepad. That was me reminding myself between recording sessions that I need to go east to get back to my island, or at least I hope I need to go east. But yes, it seems like it has all come up studio. Oh, thank God. I didn't see the platform and I was getting a bit worried there, but yep, yeah, just popped in. Love it. Right. <laughs> Yay, we're home. <laughs> we're home. Oh, man. I've not been so happy to see this pile of crap. That's just literally what it is. It's a pile of crap just on the floor for no reason whatsoever. Let's drop some machetes. Let's drop this knife that we don't really need. Uh, the rest of it is all my helpful supplies for going away. And the thing is just about to fall. Uh, night is just about to fall. So what I want to do is I want to come over here and chop some of these trees down. I still, yeah, there's loads of coconuts. Let's chop the bigger ones down so I don't need to actually climb for coconuts. 
if there are any bigger ones left on this island, I feel like I may have deforested the place pretty thoroughly. Yeah, it's going to have to be these little ones that I chopped down now. It's not a big deal, it's just a bit annoying. Alrighty. Choppy, choppy. Oh, is it going to drop on me? Oh, yep, it did. Alright, let's grab some of these coconuts so they don't go away because it's always good to have them. Even if the coconuts do grow back at a ridiculous rate, it's always nice to have the coconuts. Alright, let's head back over here. Urgh. And we'll drop the coconuts off in our little eating area here. Alright. Right, let's get back on it. On it like a car bonnet. That's, that must be a, a really British thing, because uh, Americans call it a hood, it's not a bonnet, which is strange. Although, in all fairness, calling it a bonnet is also strange, because a bonnet's a hat. Although in all fairness, a hood is like a semi-hat, so fair enough. I wonder why it's a hat. Uh, a hat for the engine, possibly? Well, oh, just seems odd. Seems odd. You users of this English language, you're all so strange. Oh, there it's there. I like how it lights up and it gives me a freaking absolutely fabulous light. Da -da -da -da. Oh, Crudax. No, that's not what I want. What do I need? I need six sticks. Jeez. That's a lot of freaking sticks. Let's say, uh, where's my you lantern boy? You stay there. Allow me to see why I deforest this place. God. Getting some wood. Caribbean islands just excite me so. Green coconut! I want to see some pink coconuts or orange coconuts. I mean, give me a bit of freaking... Uh, what the, oh my god, what's the word? I can speak English, I promise. Oh, oh my god. Variation, jeez. That was such a difficult word. Lots of people have issues with it. Shut up. I don't know, sometimes, sometimes I generally just get like this where freaking words will just disappear from my repertoire. My vocab- what are you doing? <laughs> Come here. Freaking thing was going out to sea. I don't, I don't like this planet. Oh well. More fool you then, log. This is not a planet, this is just an island. <laughs> right, we should be able to make our bed now. <laughs> Call this junk. See, that's the best way to figure out how to do stuff. Just fire everything into a big junk pile. Right, sleep, man. And lo and behold, day has come upon us. Right, so, with the day also means numbing down on coconuts again, because this is what this guy likes to do in his spare time. Alright, let's take the water bottle and just... Nom 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 nom. Alright, perfect. The reason I use the water bottle is because I can drink out of that and I don't need to worry about smacking the coconuts properly. When picking them up, I can just smack them into the, uh, the coconut halves and eat them. Urgh. There we go. I did not mean to pick up that green coconut. How very dare you embellish yourself into my inventory. I thought that my guy threw it away. It doesn't just disappear. It's like, um, whoop, up there. Right, how are you feeling? Ah, you could do a bit more numbing. So I wonder if I need like a bandage or something after getting numbed on by that shark. Oh, there's sharks nearby me again. Can you hear the music change? Dun Right, what do I need? Nothing. Jack all. Right, full food. Let's get going. Let's get uh, traversing again. I mean, I would... Right, let's go. Best way when you're on land is just to pick up the freaking life raft. Okay, I am going to get you out. Go 340 north, which is this island here. We're looking directly at it 340 north. 
I'm going to keep staring at this freaking island and paddle. I will paddle until my little arms fall off. We'll make it to this freaking island. I will not get lost. I'll get there. I'll come back. Job will be a good one. Ah. Take two. I won't get uh, sidetracked by jumping on any sort of freaking random wrecks that I see in the middle of the ocean. I won't get sidetracked by trying to pet the uh, inside of the shark's mouth with my body. <laughs> God. That was terrifying. That was legitimately terrifying. I don't do well with frightening things or suspenseful things or any sort of jump scare. I am a, largely a big wuss when it comes to things like that. You see, if you watch my Factorio playthrough, like the freaking biters will pop up out of nowhere and I will, like, drop a deuce. It's ridiculous. Oh, there's a, uh, a dorsal fin of the lesser spotted shark variety. It's not really. It's not lesser, it's not spotted, it's probably just a tiger shark. Which, uh, yeah, not fun. Not fun. Don't numb my extremely poppable dinghy, please. Oh, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Sorry, soon we'll meet the turtles and all will be fine. I wonder if we'll see anything cool. There's supposed to be a freaking. There's supposed to be whales and all sorts in this game. Oh, by the way, done a bit of googling and the last piece uh, that I'm missing for your fantastic speedboat is a carburetor. So, makes sense. So it seems that the propellers just get attached directly to the engine housing unit dealy. Hujima, what's it? Uh, like an outboard. I don't actually look at any of the images. Maybe it is. I, I think it might just be an outboard that you just plonk onto the end of the uh, of the raft. I did realise, I did find out you can't use the life raft. It needs to be the wooden raft. So we're going to need to chop down a lot more wood for that. But I mean we could find that uh, the island off to the west seems to be the closest island to us. So it might be that we just need to go over there and completely deforest the area and pick up a ton of wood and then head back to our island with it. Because unfortunately we can't seem to shove anything in the raft like our duct tape, it seems to just get plonked straight out. Oh, this island's a lot further away than I expected. It's very difficult to tell distances in this game because like, they use the same uh, island model until you actually get close enough that it'll pop. So it's very difficult to tell any distances. I like um a pair of binoculars or some sort of laser spotting system, you know like snipers use the range finders, I'd like, I'd like a pair of them, get me a pair of them, too sweet, let's see if I can find a pair of range finders and, <laughs> and a decrepit old fishing boat that's sunk to the bottom of the sea. So I was looking up for, like to find out exactly what this, like where this is supposed to be set and basically it's just generic island area. I think it's supposed to be the Pacific Ocean, but a lot of people think it's the Bermuda Triangle as a result of all the ships that are underground or have run ashore and things. Meh. I never thought, I don't think the Bermuda Triangle is actually a thing. I'll, I'll have to Google it to see if the Bermuda Triangle is actually a thing. I thought it was just a myth. I thought it was just a load of rubbish. And that being said, I thought the Bermuda Triangle was so was named so because it was a triangle created by three islands. Dunno, dunno. Need to check. Need to check. Oh, frick, pop. <laughs> That's a big frickin' island. It's a shame it's so bloody far away. I say that because if it was closer, then we could deforest it. We'll see though, but if there's no, uh, if there are no relevant wrecks that I can loot, or in other words, if there are no relevant loot in said wrecks, then I'll probably just ditch this island and just take back a load of sticks. Because one thing I don't want to do in my base island is... Actually, here's my food. Ah, that's fine. One thing I don't want to do in my base island is completely deforest it and end up with no coconuts there. Because that would be a freaking nightmare. I'm well aware that the most that we've... That all we've actually accomplished in this episode is... Finding home and then sailing off to yet another island. I'm well aware of this. We made a bed. We made, well, second bed. We've got a bed on another island. But we made a bed, so that's all well and good. 
Um, I'm going to... Is that supposed to be rain? Yeah, that's supposed to be rain. Hmm, I wonder if something's kind of bugged out, so not all that rain. Ah, oh, look at that, there's at least one wreck there. Uh, but that wreck is going to have to be explored in the next episode. So, as always guys, thanks a lot for watching. I have been Steve and you've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.